and I was just like standing in like an inch of toilet water. Excellent first night. Our one problem roommate calling the cops, not once, not twice, but I think it was three times. But my outfit is just like really good today and I need it to be appreciated, so. Hey everyone, good morning. My name is Katie if you're new to my channel and I just talk about college and gap years and all sorts of stuff. This morning I just wanted to do a get ready with me and I post new videos every Thursday unless something happens to me. That sounds really, that sounds scary. That's not like in a bad way, just like I couldn't get to it. And I thought that I would just like tell funny roommate stories because I want to do like a series on my channel this this summer of like getting ready for college. And I want to do videos like what to pack for your dorm. One of them that was requested by um, subscriber Sylvie, um, thank you so much, was to do like internship advice. And um, I thought that I would just like start with some stories because I feel like that's sometimes you can glean the most out of like someone else's just like straight up experience. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys are from like other countries, but in America, we love to torture college freshmen and put them uh, in a shared room together when they're 18 and nobody has a clue what they're doing. And it's just, it's such a fun, such a cute, like lovely time. So I, the first year, my first year at CFC was 2018. And in the summer of, or fall of 2018, there was a housing shortage. So I showed up for my freshman year of college and our room was so small. It was hilarious. We showed up and literally they put us in what would be considered like a single room. You can like sometimes sophomores and juniors have the option to like live with, among freshmen or like if they need to put an RA. So they had like a single room in every suite. So because there was a housing shortage, they just decided to like put us two gals in a room together, which was um, fun. You know, we're living and we're having a good time. Can I tell this story online? Uh, something did happen with that roommate and she ended up moving out. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do that to her. <laughs> but um, it was bad and she ended up moving out. I was gonna move out and then um, she ended up moving out and that was like my first three weeks of college and it was so tough. And I'm not gonna like give all the details about it, but it was like a conflict with her and it was, there was a, there was an issue that was brought up to me in like a group meeting, but then like she went to bed and <laughs> I was sort of like accosted that like I had to address this issue. And then when the issue, when I addressed the issue, issue in like a one-on-one -on -one setting. <laughs> It went so bad. Um, I tried my very best. Like I ruminated about this like confrontation for so long. I called like all of my friends and when it finally happened, let's just say things did not go super well. And I don't know how, I'm not explaining this well at all, but then she started like going to other people and like confronting them. But then it was just like, no one had the courage to just like say, I don't, it was just, it was so bad. Anyway, um, safe to say that happened. Okay, next roommate story. So my freshman year, I was in like a sweet style living situation. My freshman year, I lived in what is like a suite style dorm. So that's basically when you have like a living room and a kitchen, um, but there are four bedrooms and there are two people to each bedroom. So when my roommate moved out, I basically like wrote to the housing office and like, if this happens to you, this is like such a, like you should stand up for yourself, yourself in these situations um, because my room was a single room. So I like wrote them and I was like, hey, can you not give me another roommate? And they didn't, which was which was very nice because honestly, the thing that you will find your freshman year is that so many people get moved around. Like if you're having roommate issues, like really bad, like I had really, really bad ones, like my first like couple of weeks and month. Just know like people do move around and if it does happen to you, like it's tough, but it will get better and it'll be a funny story in years to come. <laughs> So yeah, I lived in a suite and on like my side of the hall. So it was like this very long hallway that we lived in. We had four roommates on the other end and now there were only three of us on the end, me and then the room next to us had two girls and they were so lovely. Um, one of them I was gonna be roommates with my second year, we're still friends, um, such a gem. And um, the other was just like really fun and really nice too. So we just, we had a good side of the hallway. We all shared a bathroom and then the other four girls shared a bathroom. <laughs> it's just funny. This was like three years ago now, but like I'm still like, eh, 
can't, I can't. It's like, it's traumatic. Um, so, uh, we had like an interesting start to college is what I will say. I've definitely told the story on my channel before, but my first night of college, I showed up and I'm like unpacking. I have just left like my sobbing mother and my, I, I'm sobbing because that's just the type of family we are. I move, I'm moving like eight hours away from home. I had just had this like moment and now I'm going upstairs unpacking and it's like 10 30 at night I don't know and um I'm like unpacking my roommate's not there she's like down the hall because they're all gonna go out to like go look for parties which it was my first night in the dorm so I was just like trying to chill and <laughs> I start hearing like this noise down the hallway and um, it's these girls going like, oh my God, like, what is that? Oh my God, it's, there's water everywhere. But just like that, like it wasn't actual panic. Like they were just sort of like observing like that there was water gushing from something. And so I of course panicked and I went like right on the hall and I was like, what is flooding? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> and so the toilet in our other roommate's bathroom had started to overflow. I had been in this situation before, okay? This is not my first over overflowing toilet. There's another video on my channel where I tell a, a this happened before to me in a New York City hotel room. So I I knew what to do. I didn't know what to do in the first scenario. Anyway, this girl runs downstairs and like <laughs> she runs to go get an RA. And I was like, no, like give me, give me some shower shoes. So I went in there and there's like an inch of water in the bathroom. Like it has flooded that much already. So the RA comes like, like breathlessly up the stairs. He was like, ah, like, you know, turn the nozzle. I had already done it. I had already turned off the flooding toilet and I was just like standing in like an inch of toilet water. Excellent first night, excellent crazy college lady. And he was like, okay, you're gonna have to deal with this in a second because we're having a fire drill. So we go out to the parking lot. We're in the parking lot for like an hour. If you've ever been a part of a college like dorm evacuation fire drill, they suck. They're awful. They happen so random. And of course it just happened at the best time. So now like I have dirty toilet water like all over my feet and now I have to go stand outside. Um, it, you know, in the August Charleston heat, just not, not the best time. So we're doing that and um, you know, it's a fine time. It's, we, we get back inside and that first night I ended up just like cleaning up cause they all went to a party. I don't know if we, wanted to clean it or like they just left and we were like well we can't leave it here i think that's more what happened but we didn't bring it up because like i had just moved eight hours away like i was tr not trying to start a beef with my roommates like the first night so i was just like i was willing to help so we did laundry until like midnight that night um with not even our towels actually i think it was i think it was my friend's towels that who helped me with the laundry, which kind of sucks too. So we already had like a rough start with our roommates, um, you know, but I just kind of like let it go. And then I had my own like roommate drama, which I sort of explained earlier. <laughs> But so then, you know, we're all getting settled in. Now it's just the seven of us. And I didn't really know two of my roommates. Like they just kind of kept to themselves. And yeah, they just kind of kept themselves. I didn't know them that well, but then I knew one of the girls down the hall pretty well. Like she was so nice. Um, we, went to, we went to a literary festival together and ate biscuits in line and we, um, Anyway, sorry, that's like, that's not the, the point of the topic. But anyway, I loved her. She was very, very nice. But so like in October, we come home one day and like there's beef and <laughs> we don't know where this beef is coming from. We had one roommate, the problem. <laughs> Let's just say there was there was one there's always one and she's basically there was there was some beef I think it was something to do with like some friendship nonsense because they were all like really like tight-knit friends Like I didn't really hang out with them. I hung out with the one girl. Um, um She was really sweet. But I just didn't really have a lot of in common with the other girls Um, but we had like a very cordial like roommate like it was completely fine Like I I didn't have any beef. I didn't <laughs> I keep saying the word beef, but it just but I, I didn't have any beef, okay? <laughs> But so the, this is gonna be such a long video, but I, I really don't care. But so one day they come home and there's like slamming doors and there's yelling. Uh, and basically then I find out like a weekend later when I'm at this literary festival with, with my other roommate and she was like, yeah, so basically we were, I think it was like something to do with like one of them was going to the ATM and like didn't invite the other. Like it was, I don't, I don't understand. There was some sort of drama about the ATM and not being invited, um, which I don't, I don't claim to understand, but that's what the beef was. And so eventually after like a week of slamming doors and like, I'm pretty sure there was like some, some cursing out in the hallway, we had to get the RA involved. I was not involved in this, but, um, and I didn't know this was happening, but our RA basically had to come and like mediate a conversation between these two girls. And during it, 
the one problem roommate got up and threatened to choke my other roommate, which was not cute. And then I think for a while they got over it. Like I think that, I don't remember the timeline of this because it was so long ago, but that was like October. And like everyone seemed like fine over Christmas. And so I think some, I think some of the beef was squashed. Okay. I think it was, I think a little bit of it was squashed, which is excellent. Cause we don't, we don't need no beef. So <laughs> enter second semester. We lost two roommates. So my good friend roommates on the, our end of the hall, she moved out just because she wanted to be in, a, in, a, in an apartment with her friend, like she dorm life just wasn't for her. So she ended up moving out. And then one of, one of our other roommates down the hall who I didn't really know very well, she transferred to a different school. So it was just, how many were we down to? Five, it was just five of us. So it was two of us on one hallway. So the deal is with, with the bathrooms at college is like, it's just sort of courteous that like you, you if you're in a suite, you use your bathroom because you have to do things like pick up toilet paper for it um, and clean it, right? And you have to use it at like specific times. So you, you sort of get in like a rhythm with your roommates. So all of a sudden, like our problem roommate started using our bathroom, like right when we had to go to class. So my friend had a really late restaurant job and she would stay up until like two in the morning to do all of her homework every night because she was working. So she would sleep in. So she would get up around like, I don't know, like nine, nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock and would have to take a shower. And there would be like just a girl in there, like, and it wasn't me. <laughs> so it was this other girl basically using our bathroom. So we, we eventually had to bring up the topic. Oh, I should tell you stories about this roommate. So about why she was a problem. Obviously the choking part, okay. But we had had some altercations. So we had a group chat. <laughs> this is what it was. This is what it was. <laughs> I'm forgetting all the details. So we had a group chat. Um, <laughs> but what I remember about the group chat is like when there was beef, she would leave the group chat, but then like she would get added back in. This is the, this is what living with eight people is like. Like it's just, it's kind of a disaster. So one night in like December, um, we were having cookie night. We were making cookies in the kitchen, which we, I like literally never use the kitchen. Our one, this one problem roommate would, she had a problem with food. So we had really, she had interesting food habits. I'm not here to judge anybody except like this was just not okay. So yeah, I'm allowed to have an opinion about this. Okay. It's about raw meat. So what she would do is she would like defrost meat, but it would be sitting on the counter for like days. And then someone would be like, Hey, can we throw this out? And she'd be like, no, I'm going to use it. And we were like, um, like you'll probably get sick. And she was like, no, 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 it's fine. So then she would literally cook and eat the meat after it had been like sitting on the counter for days and days, which is so unhealthy for you. Like you're not supposed to do that. And um, sometimes like the meat, because when meat defrosts, it like, m like all like the, the frozen juice stuff, like it would get all over the counters. And I, I stayed out of the kitchen because it was just like such a, a disaster and mess. Like I just, I had a mini fridge in my room. So I would like keep some stuff in there from the grocery store. But then I would also just like go to the dining hall because I had a meal plan, which if you live on campus, most of the times you have to have a meal plan, um, which was completely, which was completely fine. Like it, it, it worked out. Um, definitely not the best food, but I didn't have to use that godforsaken kitchen. And the fridge was a black hole. Like there was stuff when we started cleaning it out at the end that had been there since we moved in. It was so scary. So one night, we looked in the fridge cause we had to put something in the fridge and that like wouldn't fit in my little fridge. And we noticed that there was like moldy food. So we had to like address it because there was like, m there was moldy food in our refrigerator, which is like super unhealthy. So anyway, that caused, that caused some, some ruffled feathers and I think that was maybe another time that she left the group chat. I don't actually know, but I mean, everything seemed to be to be okay until she started using our bathroom second semester. And it was really bothering my one roommate who like, she would always go in the bathroom when my roommate like needed it um, because she works so late and all that stuff. That was addressed. And I think there were some other things that were addressed like in the spring semester. And it was like right at the end of March, there was a lot of stuff going on at the end of March because this one problem roommate was very mad at the people who lived above us because we could hear them kind of walking around a lot. So she went upstairs and I think the one roommate that I like, like went to go talk to them first and they were like nice to her, but then I guess it kept happening. So then the problem roommate 
went upstairs and like knocked on the door. And I want to say she cursed them out. Like she, she was not, she was not polite, let's just say. And it started like a feud between the girls above us and then us. And um, I was not a part of it because it wasn't happening like on our side. So like, I mean, we definitely heard stuff from above, but that's just sort of like what living in an apartment or a dorm is like, like you just got to bring earplugs and you like a fan. We also lived like right, our dorm was right next to like a bar. So I could hear like bar noise all night, which was, which like was fine because I had like a fan and I, anyway. Eventually this like feud escalated to our one problem roommate calling the cops. Um, not once, not twice, but I think it was three times. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that it was three times. And by the third time, the cops came all the way up to our dorm because the first two times they were like, we can't help you with this. Like, what are you, what do you even mean? And I don't think it was like the actual police, but it was like the campus police, which like, you're still not supposed to call them if like your roommates are walking, like if your upstairs neighbors are like walking around, like that just doesn't make sense. So it escalated to the point where the campus police came into our dorm at like midnight. I was up <laughs> writing. I had a, a final due the next day, like a final paper due. So it wasn't like the actual finals week. Yeah, he came up the stairs. And at this point, like we did not have a good relationship with the peop with um, this one roommate down the hall. And there was a lot of, there was a lot of animosity, let's just say. And there was a lot of slamming doors. I had to go in one day and like have a confrontation with her because there was one day where there was just like a lot of door slamming um, because we asked her not to use our bathroom anymore in like a very polite, very, very nice way. Like we were like, hey, like maybe, you know, I understand if someone's in your bathroom at this time, but you know, this is our bathroom. We tried to do it very nicely, but also like you're, you're not, you know, contributing to like cleaning or like getting toilet paper, like you're, and a lot of the times the dorm, they run out of toilet papers. Like we would have to go buy our own. Yeah, which is just like not the coolest thing to do. So we had a conversation about that. There's a lot of animosity. I had to go in her dorm room and have a talk. It was very not fun, but I, try to clear some of the air because I was like, I can't live with door slamming for another month. But yeah, the cop, I'm sorry, I'm getting so distracted, but the cops came and they were basically like, you cannot call us anymore. And eventually we had to go meet with the, I want to say it's like the R R H A, because there are RAs, right? Which are the people, the like students who are like above you in college and they live among you and um, kind of help you out. But this was like the head RA. So she was in charge of all of the dorms on campus. So we had to meet with her individually and talk about this situation. I had no idea what was going on, but I had to take time out of my day. I had to talk to her for like a half an hour. She interviewed like probably 16 people. No, that's not right. I don't know, like maybe like we had five was five plus eight, like 13 people, okay? And things just got like so bad after that, like our one roommate, like she started the one problem roommate. Um, After that, like the meeting, something else happened. I don't remember what, I think it was the day with the door slamming and the bathroom thing. That escalated so much. And then there was like still beef with the other roommate who was like my friend also. She started moving all of her stuff out and like leaving her mess everywhere. So our whole entire hallway and like living space and kitchen was filled with like old food and just like all of her stuff from her dorm, which she brought so much stuff. And it was like all piled into our hallway because she was mad. And it was just like so passive aggressive. And if you have ever been in a roommate situation like this, like it is so hard. And we held out with her for a long time. Like that was the, probably like the last like three weeks of school. And it was unbearable. Like when you are living in a situation like that, it is so toxic and it just doesn't have to be like that. And it was like, there was so much animosity and like it wasn't even really directed towards, towards me, but even living among it was just like, ugh, like it was so stressful. So are you excited for college? <laughs> But I think that everyone's cool now. I actually saw that girl my sophomore year, like in the library and she just was like completely cool. So sometimes just living with people is interesting. So at the thing that I am most happy for is that I never had an experience where like my roommate was having a friend over. Let's just say that while I was in the room, didn't have to deal with that, but I knew a lot of people who did, um, which is just bad. Don't do that, okay? Um, but yeah, that's my video for today. I hope that it made sense. <laughs> Um, and if you're wondering like, oh, how do I solve these situations? To be quite honest, guys, like I'm gonna be real with you. When it comes to other people and their meat habits and um, 
them calling the police on people. Like, I just don't think that that is something that you can necessarily control. I think it's just something you have to live through. Yeah, that's where we are at. And I'm really hoping that I will have a better roommate situation when I go back to college because it is just, it's a troubling experience for, for anyone. But yeah, give this video a like if you liked it. Um, this is definitely more of like a chill type of video and it's gonna be like a longer form. So let me know if you liked it. Um, because I'm always like, I'm always just trying to figure out like what's best for this channel. And um, you guys like always give me good advice. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like and um, have a nice day. Bye.